the objective of today's lecture is that we want to start lecture series on nptl on the topic of dielectric resonator antennas i am professor rajveer yadwansi from netaji subhash university of technology delhi dra the full form of dra is dielectric resonator antennas we are well familiar uh, with the term antennas these are basically uh, devices which are being used in wireless communications uh, systems for converting electrical energy into em waves and vice versa so for any wireless system the antennas are crucial components and they are being used in almost all uh, wireless systems the wireless systems may be radio communication may be radars and if we go more precise uh, we can say uh, the sonar in uh, wireless systems we have seen uh, the antennas being used specifically for broadcast for uh, receiving uh, uh, these uh, tv as well as radio signals we have seen bulky antennas which are generally made up of a uh, metallic part but i am talking something different which is uh, unconventional and it is not made up from material rather it is made from dielectric uh, materials why should we uh, design dielectric uh, material antennas those are known as uh, dielectric resonator antennas reason being the metallic antennas at higher frequency offer huge loss and uh, at higher frequencies uh, they are unable to provide uh, the efficiency in dielectric resonator antennas we have uh capability that they can operate right from micro frequencies to terahertz frequencies and they offer uh higher efficiencies even better than 90% which was not possible in case of metallic antennas at higher frequencies now in dielectric resonator antenna we have one more advantage that the metallic antennas which are of patch Uh, nature they have limitations of uh, limited aspect ratios whereas in dielectric resonator antennas we have two different aspect ratios and these aspect ratio give designer a wide flexibility which was not possible in case of patch antennas so uh, one important parameter is that they are efficient the second uh, parameter it is that they give us two different aspect ratios and these aspect ratios will help us to generate higher modes uh, then uh, in patch antenna only uh, limited modes uh, used to be uh, generated whereas in direct resonator antennas we are capable to excite not only a fundamental mode but higher order modes again the question will come what is the use of these uh, higher order mode excitations which was not possible in patch antennas the answer is uh, we use these uh, multiple modes or higher order modes by manipulating either we can combine them or we can split them in communication applications there are different applications either we want to operate at uh, single frequency or we want to operate multiple frequencies in one particular band it means by splitting those resonant modes at certain intervals our antenna will be capable to deliver uh, different bands and these bands can be used for different services it means if we are able to excite multiple ports we are able to cater different services on each mode using only one antenna which was not possible in case of patch antenna the second scenario 
that if we want to have huge amount of bandwidth bandwidth that is bandwidth wide bandwidth or sometimes in large bandwidth so that is also possible if we are capable to excite uh, multiple modes so by manipulating uh, these modes we can either merge these modes into single bandwidth and we can achieve uh, by merging these modes in particular band we can achieve higher uh, bandwidth which was not possible in case of page antennas.